Hey, it's Mango with Say Hello Co. And we are taking a look today at two of my favorite, two, four, two of my favorite unstructured, lightweight, on the go, easy to grab diaper bags. I've been trying to get this video out there for quite a while. I've had some requests for it, so I'm super excited to be talking today about the Boken Everyday Diaper Bag and the Jujube Super V. This one is in the Nantucket print. I love the navy and white stripes for summer and even into fall it's going to be a really really good bag for me. As it's shipped to you, the Super V has only one carrying option and that's with these awesome really comfortable tote straps. You can add a sold separately messenger strap or even one off a different bag that you have but I love the tote straps so that doesn't bother me. The Boken Everyday diaper bag is shown here in aqua which is this gorgeous teal color. I love it. Comes with a couple of carrying options. So these are the tote straps. Again, really, really comfortable. In this back pocket here, it, there's also backpack straps that can come out and then clip onto the bottom or tuck in when you don't need them. And also a messenger strap that clips here into the other side. So tons of carrying options, really lightweight, super durable, which is what both of these bags have in common. Which is why I think this is a really good comparison. Because if you're looking for that really lightweight, unstructured, easy to throw in stuff and go type diaper bag, these are two of your best options. What I'm going to do is take everything I have from the Jujubee Super Bee and show you how it's packed up and put it in the Boken Everyday diaper bag so you can kind of get a good idea of what both bags can hold capacity wise and which one may be really good for you. So let's bring the camera over to the table and we'll get started. This bag is not fully packed but it is is pretty full for what I would carry for an average day out if we're gonna be out for a couple of hours. Remember I have two little ones, a three-year-old and a one-year-old, so I need a lot of stuff. And this bag holds a lot of stuff. You guys know I like to move fast with these, so let's get going. Jeez, Megan, you talk a lot. Swell bottle. 17 ounce, fits awesome in this front pocket. They are insulated bottle pockets, so that's awesome. In this side pocket, which just go all the way the length of the bag, I have a Funtainer. My kids love these because of the fun straw. They get a kick out of it. This middle pocket here, it's kind of hidden, is a zippered pocket and now goes the whole length of the bag. If you had this bag in a previous version, it was like a shortened pocket, but now full length of the bag, which is awesome. I have my iPhone 7 Plus, huge phone, fits in there great. What else is in here? This is packed from the park yesterday. Oh, a bit of honey for me and a fruit snack in case of desperation. The Super B does have a spot for like a clippable messenger strap, but right now I just have this little pouch on here here and it has my chapstick and an extra passy for my baby girl. In this back pocket here, which is huge, it goes the whole width and length of the bag. I have tucked in here the Boken change pad that comes with the everyday diaper bag. And I love it. Really cushiony, huge, fits in there really nice. So the Super V has one long zipper that goes all the way across the bag. Look at that fun print on the inside. I love it. Hopefully that's a pretty good view of what I have in here. I have a lot of Jujubee set pieces. They're my favorite to pack an unstructured diaper bag like this with. Let's start with what's on this key fob here. Super long. This is my keys, obviously, and then I've been using the small set piece as a wallet. This is called a B charge. It just holds all of my cards, really slim, fits in there really nicely. In the middle here, I have a medium set piece. This is in the Cape Cod print. And in here, I have a bunch of like mom stuff, makeup, sunscreen, deodorant, all that junk fits in here really well. Up next, I have my large set piece, and this is in the Annopolis print. And I have four diapers, two size six, two size four. I also have some of those disposable baggies by Arm & Hammer. And this other pouch down here is from a different bag. It is just holding my kids' change of clothes. I like it because it's squishy, and the clothes are squishy, that way it don't take up a lot of room. The last item in the middle of the bag, and you can see it was kind of holding up the bag, is a fuel cell by Jujube again. And this whole desk inspiration m and and a whole bunch of snacks for the kids. So everything I just showed you came out of the very middle of the bag. Here in this back zip pocket, I have my sunglasses. I usually just leave this open so that I can reach them really easily. And there are two mesh pockets here in the front. And in these, I have kind of like easy grab items. I have my wipes case, which should be closed all the way. And then this side, I have boogie wipes. My kids have been disgustingly boogery lately. So we need this and Baby Gannix hand sanitizer so that we stop spreading germs and stop getting 
getting germs. And that is everything I currently am keeping in the Jujubee Super B. So what I've done now is I've taken everything that I took out of the Jujubee Super B and now I'm going to repack it in the Boken diaper bag. As you can see, this bag doesn't have a lot of structure either. It's smushable, it's foldable, you can actually fit it in its own zippered compartment here, which I show in the video specifically about this bag. For now, I'm going to take everything I took out of the Jujubee Super B and put it into the Boken. In this side pocket here, I'm going to put that fun tainer so that it's easy to reach for. In this mesh side pocket, I'm going to fit my 17 ounce swell. The inside of this bag is mostly just one compartment as well with one zipper and one mesh pocket. So to keep the bag standing up, I'm going to take that Jujube fuel cell and fit it right there inside that main pocket. I'm going to take my Jujube set piece, large with the diapers in it, and put it next to it. Medium set piece, again, right there. And now you can see the bag is starting to stand up a little bit better so I can start putting things in these front pockets. I'm going to put my phone in this very front zip pocket along with my sunglasses so that I can always reach those really easily. In this second pocket, which is actually a really good size, it fits my whole hand down to my wrist, it goes down to almost the bottom of the bag. I'm going to put my wallet, which is the small set piece, and these random little snacks I have. This little kind of like where I keep the pacifier and the chapstick pouch, I'm going to hook onto the side D-ring there. Keys I'm going to take, and there is a little key fob here at the back. You can see that's attached to this pocket. In this zippered compartment at the very back of the bag, you can see I have all my set pieces in the middle. I'm going to take my wipes and put them back there along with the boogie wipe. And why not that pocket's so big? Also this Baby Yannick's hand sanitizer. All I have left are these two items, which is the change of clothes, which will fit right here in the middle compartment. And this is the change pad that comes with the bag, so we can just put that right here in the back. I'm actually kind of surprised. I thought the Super B would be way less packed than the Boken, meaning that the Boken was smaller and the Jujube Super B was a lot bigger. But actually, this bag always surprises me. There is a really solid amount of room on top here. And that's everything from the Jujube Super B right into the Boken. So the bags are really similar in size. It's kind of just up to you and what you're looking for. Hey, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful to get a good idea of what the Super B and the Boken Everyday Diaper Bag can hold and which one may be really good for your family. Personally, I think you need both. Neither bag is really expensive. They run between $50 and $60 depending on where you get it. And I will have all of those shopping links in the description box below along with my Instagram information, Facebook, all that good social media stuff. Please hit that subscribe button if you like this content and I'll see you guys soon. Bye! Woo! You did good, Megan. Good job, Megan. You're pretty, Megan. You work really hard, Megan. You probably should take a nap, Megan.